Hey there, welcome to AlaskaFlyFishingGoods.com's online fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to dub over hourglass eyes to make a nice full head. Dubbing is a good way to add a little bit of color and contrast to your, uh, to your fly. It's also a good way to finish it off. I'm going to start out today, I'm using a little light bright dubbing here. Start out by pulling a little bit of dubbing out of the pack. You kind of want to hold the dubbing in there so you don't pull the whole thing out at once. But you want to pull out a shred or two here. Uh, dubbing is best used in small amounts. More is not better. This is about enough to dub uh, this fly's head here. So you can take about uh, six or eight inches of thread, lay your dubbing up on that, and then you're going to kind of start twisting with your fingers here. Now you don't want to twist two directions. Pick a direction and stick with it. Doesn't matter which one, but just always make sure you're going that one direction. And then you can see the dubbing kind of sucks up to the material or to the thread here, like so. And kind of want to keep going down here. So you're making a nice long dubbing rope. Just like so. And I'm going to start off with a couple wraps behind the head here. Say two or three. And then we're going to come up and over the eyes on the outside and what that's going to do is it's going to provide coverage but it's not going to lay down over the top of the dubbing it's not going to lay the thread down over the top of the dubbing and trap it so much so if you start to unwind your dubbing a little bit just pull it back a little bit and give it a little twist so we're going to do that twice now we're going to make one diagonal wrap over the top like so I'm going to pull a little bit of the, this off. Remember I said a little goes a long way? Well, I use too much. And then right down there at the front, we're going to kind of give the dubbing a last little twist. And we're going to go peel this stuff back and then go right around the hook eye about three times. Lock it down. Take the whip finish tool. Finish this guy off with two or three quick wraps. Cut the thread. And now for the important step. You can either use a, uh, a like a, a dubbing needle and kind of pick this stuff out to sever a little bit, or you can use a piece of Velcro or a feather comb and kind of fuzz it out, to give it some coverage here, and then that's what a dubbed set of hourglass eyes looks like. 